I'm doing a short sequence where we'll be going from a three-legged dog to a low lunge, Anjali Asana, and we'll be working on opening our back muscles, like working on strengthening our back muscles and then flowing back uh, into a half split. So we'll go back and forth. It's just a quick, uh, fun transition. Uh, you can incorporate that into your regular vinyasa flows or if you're working on your hamstring flexibility to come into a full split or just for healthy muscles you can practice this on a regular basis so let's flow coming on to all fours tuck your toes shift your hips back come into your downward facing dog Lift your right leg up, coming into a three-legged dog. From here, bring your right knee into your chest and plant your right foot in between your hands. Bring your back knee down, arms come alongside your ears, coming into your low lunge. You can have your back toes tucked or you can have the top of your feet down onto the mat. Now open your arms into goalpost arms, working into your back. Come back up, extend your arms alongside your ears. Slowly start shifting your weight back and flexing your front foot and hinge from your hips, coming into your half splits or half Hanumanasana. So you're hinging from your hips here and your chest is, come. you're working towards bringing your chest towards your thigh. You're not rounding your back. Have your front foot flexed. So the toes are facing towards the sky. Pull up on your kneecap here. So this leg is engaged. And drape yourself down. Coming into your half splits. Release your uh, right foot onto the mat. Sink your hips down. Coming into your low lunge. Uh, coming into Anjali Asana. Open your chest, arms come into a goal post. Release your arms alongside your ears. Shift your hips back, flex your front foot and drape yourself down, hinging from your hips into your half splits. Engage your front leg, pull up on your kneecaps on your front leg. One more time, release your front foot, hips sink towards the mat arms come alongside your ears open your chest towards the sky goal post arms bring your arms alongside your ears shift your weight back flex your front foot and hinge from your hips half splits release tuck your back toes lift your back knee off the mat frame your front foot step back into your downward facing dog and do that on the other side. So next breath, lift your right leg up, coming into a three-legged dog. Bring your right feet in between your palms. Back knee comes down onto the mat. Untuck your toes or if you want, you can have your toes tucked for more balance. Bring the top of your feet back foot onto the mat. Arms come alongside your ears, coming into Anjali Asana. Open your chest towards the sky, goal post arms. Next breath, bring your arms back alongside your ears and start to shift your hips back. Extend your front foot, flex your left foot, toes point towards the sky and hinge from your hips coming into half splits. You can have your palms onto the mat, on the mat for extra support. Shift back, hips come down, arms come alongside your ears for Anjali Asana. Open your chest towards the sky, goal post arms. Arms come back alongside your ears. Swing your arms back, shift your weights, weight back and hinge, your, hinge from your hips. Flex your front foot, half splits. One more time. Anjali Asana, chest opens up towards the sky, goal post arms. Extend your arms back alongside your ears. Swing your arms back, shift your weight back. Flex your front foot, 
engage your core, hinge from your hips. Pull up on your kneecap on your left leg. So you release. Both palms come onto the mat. Tuck your back toe. Your left foot meets your right foot. Flow through your vinyasa. Upward facing dog coming back. Downward facing dog. There you go. I hope you enjoy that. Uh, it is great for building uh, hamstring flexibility and also opens up your chest and builds your uh, upper back strength. Have fun.